So I'm tired. I would much prefer to be having a nap right now, and I'm blind. Oh, and there's also apparently a few thousand people walking out in the middle of nowhere in the woods when I'm trying to do a video. Seems like everyone who's trying to social distance is just not staying in their houses and all going out to the same place, which is just fantastic. Which means I need to get this done really quick or else I'll have to interact with other humans, which is my least favorite thing. So with all the things that are going on at the moment and everyone having to stay home and work from home and all that stuff, I had originally seen people talk about how they were all kind of getting ready to learn all these skills, myself included. Because working from home was gonna free up all this time for us to learn things that we'd wanted to learn for ages, but just didn't have the time until now. But fast forward to like two weeks later, which is now, I'm starting to see people, one, beat themselves up a lot because they're not getting all the things they wanted to get done, done. And two, other people talking shit on people who haven't managed to get their goals achieved. One thing I keep seeing shared around is, uh, if you haven't achieved your goals now, then you didn't lack time, you lack discipline. For whoever actually made that original post that everyone's sharing around, I just wanna say, that was really shitty of you, and uh, fuck you a little bit. I know that thing sounds really valid at the start, and maybe in some scenarios, it, it's very applicable. Oh, wind, sorry if it's getting windy, just nature's not cooperating. Like, I keep seeing people talk about how you should be coming out of this whole thing with like a new skill or a new language or a side hustle beginning or something like that. It is only a short amount of time. And I mean, ideally in a perfect world, the entire population of the earth will have like gone up a level skill wise or something from all this like self study and learning and initiative that everyone has taken across the globe. But it's okay if you don't as well. <laughs> like, it's not really that much time. Oh my God, the amount of people out is actually really starting to get my nerves now. Like, yes, it is an ideal opportunity to learn new skills and figure out that thing you've always wanted to learn. But just before you start beating yourself up over your lack of progress on this thing, just remember that this isn't gonna be your only opportunity to learn it. You've wanted to learn this thing for a long time and you've probably had a perfectly good reason for not getting a chance to. I think it's just worth saying that with all this free time we have at the moment, if you don't learn a new skill, or you don't learn a new language or something like that, or you don't know how to code, or you don't learn a new recipe or something, that's okay. I mean, right now you have an increased opportunity to, but just don't feel like you have to come out of this like a whole new person or with a whole new skill set. Because I think everyone is putting themselves and each other under kind of a lot of pressure to learn new things. I'm not saying don't try, but just don't beat yourself up if you don't get as far as you would like. That's my main point. But I think it's also important to remember that like literally any progress you make on this thing is progress and it's more than you had before. Like, okay, this thing has happened. You've been told to work from home or that class is canceled or something like that. So immediately you think like, oh, I'm gonna learn the thing that I've wanted to learn for ages. I have time now. From that point on, literally any progress you make towards that thing is progress. Okay. Random joggers are judging me, that's that's fine, that's okay. One thing I would say, advice-wise, as to how to not feel like that as much, is sure, have a big thing you wanna learn in this time, but maybe focus on a couple of smaller things that aren't as complex to learn, like learn how to cook a new meal, or learn how to do something within a thing you already know. Like, if you're into video editing, maybe learn a new little video editing technique, or how to do a new transition, or how to color grade a little bit better. And that'll be enough, that'll, that, you know, box ticked, you've done it, well done. You learned, you upskilled in your time off. And even if you don't, like I've just been saying, don't beat yourself up about it. It's a crazy complex time at the moment and you shouldn't be afraid to just kind of rest for the time being. Like that's okay to do as well. I just wanted to make this video because I noticed it was something that was starting to emerge among my friends, people I follow online. But yeah, that's just about everything I had to say. There's one more thing. I mentioned before in a couple of videos I was gonna start doing live streaming. That is something that is gonna come in the next week or two, but I have big plans for it. When I say big plans, I mean moderately sized plans. So I would appreciate if you stay tuned for that. If you wanna get updates about that, or if you just wanna reach out, you can find me on Twitter and on Facebook. Uh, if you wanna see more of my videos, you can subscribe. If you like this video, you can hit the like button, maybe share it with your friends. I'm gonna go and get away from all these people because I'm actually, well, I have a big smile on my face. I'm very annoyed. But yeah, that's all for this one. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.